We're not starting until we get a louder round of applause. Come on. Come on. You didn't have to do that. Thanks, everyone. Gosh, that's a bright light. So, um, we're stand over here. That's better. <laughs> so, uh, how are you all? Good, cool. Uh, yesterday, some of you guys came into the session I ran. Little wave. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Thanks for coming back for a second one. Uh, we're going to do a little activity, right? So, I, I reckon we've got a half an hour, and what we want you to do is come up with a top three list of something, okay? Yeah? How's the accent? Everyone getting the Australian? It's all clear? All right. So are you confident that we can organize ourselves to come up with a top three list? Yeah? Raise your hand if you're confident we can do it, right? Everyone in the room is going to participate. Show me your hand if you're skeptical. There's no way we can get, I think there's about 68 people in the room. Right, so you guys are actually good at organizing 68 people to agree on something? All right, cool. We'll just sit and watch. Go. <laughs> just kidding. So what we're going to do is put the clock on and we're going to run a series of very short iterations, right? Typically around three minutes. We'll do three, 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 four, four, four. And so we're going to run six iterations, okay? And what we're going to do is ask you to interact at different scales. So we'll start with pairs, then fours, then eights. And then at the end, we're going to have 64 people coming together to agree on something. Yeah? Cool. Anyone got a topic? that they'd like to volunteer? I'll give you one if you don't have one. No? All right. So favorite agile technique. OK? So we're looking for the top three favorite agile techniques. And your job, after you've figured out what the top three most valuable agile techniques are, is to go and coach and support and practice those things back at work next week. Right? So we don't need to explain how those things work. You know all that stuff. You're experts. You're here at the conference. But we'll just have 64. 66 odd people agree what the most important things to focus on are and you'll know because that's a big enough crowd to figure things out. Sound good? Cool. All right. Um, everyone mobile? Anyone on wheelchairs or crutches? Cool. Okay. So we're going to... Abdul here, my partner in crime. Thanks, Shruti. That was a good call out. Uh, he and I will wander around the room and like just like check out if anyone's stuck. Just like raise out and sing your hands. You know, you know, call out and we'll come and help. But uh, our main job is to watch the clock because you're going to do the organization. All right? So a bit of fun, a bit of moving around. When I shout out, hey, next round, go from two to four people, look around, find the four people. We're not going to give too many instructions. You guys are adults. You can work that stuff out, right? You good? Make sense? Has anyone got any dumb questions? Has anyone got any smart questions? All right, cool. So most useful tool in this session is going to be the clock. Are you ready? Right? First thing you need to do is figure out who your partner is, pairs, form pairs. Everyone got a pair? This is the hardest bit. Form a pair. If any of you get left out and you, you know, there's an odd number of people in the room and somebody's left out, just grab one of the other pairs and become a threesome. Yeah? All right, are we done? Is anyone not in a group? All right, just turn to your left or your right and join the pair next to you. Great. Okay. <clears throat> so just to reiterate, round one, round one, we're going to debrief at the end and have a conversation as well, right? Hi, welcome to the session, guys. <clears throat> this is why projects go late. You, you know, hiring takes a while, takes a bit of time to onboard people. So you guys that just walked in, just follow the instructions. Don't worry about it. It's going to work out. First thing I need you to do is grab your pair, right? Everyone's in pairs. You guys, you guys have just walked in. Grab a person. You two form a pair. The group activity is we're going to come up with our top three list of agile techniques or practices, right? And that's what we're going to prioritize. Okay, we don't need to work out a big long list. We don't need to know what number 16 or 17 is in the list, do we? Because we're just going to focus on the top of the backlog, right? You good? You ready? Does anyone want to go, by the way, now that you know what we're doing? No one wants to bail? You do? Yeah? There you go. <laughs> okay. You ready? Clock is about to start. <clears throat> In three minutes, between the two of you, you're both going to have worked out what your favorite, preferred agile technique or method is, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a round after that, and we're going to do a round after that. You ready? Set? Go.
Question, shout it out. You done? Okay, cool. So, we're prioritizing, right? At the moment, we've probably got about 34 different ideas. Okay, so let's converge a little bit more. Each small group, grab another small group that's near you, so you're now a medium sized group. Can you do that? Right? Spot, the near, spot a group near you. Everyone, make sure you've got the next round ready. And do it again, right? the one most important Agile technique that you guys think is worth focusing on? Just one. <coughs> so who's talking? Are you guys in it? So it's you four and you three, or you're all together? All right, okay. Keep going. How's it going so far? Oh, gosh. How's it going so far? Thumbs up, there, there, how's the conversations going? You're liking the conversations? You're ambiguous, I'm not having fun, right? Okay, you're welcome to leave if you don't like it. If you're ambiguous, you, you're bored, just, you don't need to stay. I don't wanna waste your time. Just kidding, I do like wasting people's time. It's my job, I'm management. Um, we're gonna do it again, right? So is everyone feeling okay with the conversation so far? Yeah, good. So now you're going to do the next level, right? It's going to get a bit more on, um, complex because we're going to get to larger groups. So do you mind all standing up? Everyone on your feet, right? And I just want you to know that you're welcome to use the stage. You're welcome to use the front of the room. It's going to get a bit crowded. So maybe, maybe if I do a bit of social organizing, if you guys come and stand over here, right? You guys come and join them. Yeah, so that's one group. You guys at the back and the table in front of you, right? Just kind of move around that table, make that your home base, right? You guys at this front table, and you guys at this front table, you can have the stage, come on up, right? And you guys, and you guys, right? Maybe move to this front center table, right? And then back corner, there's two groups over there. So one of them move over to this front table, you guys all, stage, come on, stage. Get up here, no one, don't worry about it, no one's gonna be listening to your talk. Right, and then the guys that were standing over there, the guys that were standing over there go to that table. People in the corner, you go to that table. Yeah, if you're new in the room, just come over here. And then you guys, you're a group, so you can have that space there, right? Uh, I don't know what happened. I said the people that were standing over, instructions, right? This is management, we're incompetent. You guys that were standing over there, you go to that round table there, right? So if you're in that group over there, go to that table. Right, visualization, transparency. Okay, so the people that were over there went to that table. Now, the people that were in that corner go to that table. You're good, you're a group, you're a group, you're a group, you're a group, you're a group. Is anyone here management? You know what I'm going through, don't you? Yeah, it's not fun. All right, we're gonna do it again. It's because I'm holding a secret, right? And everyone wants to know what it is. So we're gonna go again. We're gonna hang on to three minutes again. And same job. 
right? Just come up with one most vital, useful, agile practice technique method. People have asked, people have asked questions, right? Is, is Scrum a thing that can fit into this? Is daily? No, you're just after one, right? So at the end of this whole session, we're going to be looking for three, right? But right now, all I want is one, right? So if you've got three in your list, or if you've let your list build up to six and you've gone, we'll sort it out later, now's the time to purge it, all right? We good? Shall I start the clock? Okay, clock has started. Three minutes. Just one, just one. Just a question, sorry. Wrap it up. Shh, quiet, everyone. All right. Does anyone anyone fail to get agreement on that round? If you're if you're a team that didn't get one good outcome, everyone's got one. If you got more than one, or if you haven't solved the problem, put your hand up. Haven't solved the problem. You guys, you good. You guys, you good. You good. You still got time to solve it, right? Okay. Hmm. I reckon we're going to do two more rounds. We're going to get there. All right, go again, three minutes. Uh, before we do, sorry, I've got to do the organizing thing. The light screws my light eyes up. You guys, over here, all right? You two together, and you guys, up on the stage. You good? Come on, come on, come on. Time is money, let's get moving. Come on, come on, come on. Project's gonna be late. All right. Okay. We know where the groups are. We can see they're all in play. Three minutes again. One best agile method or technique. What is it? You're right, don't worry about me. Did you get a decision? Did you get a decision? No, did you get a decision? You w yes, did you guys get a decision? Yes, all right, cool. So now I've got this awkward thing of three groups. You can't, you can't pair up three groups. What am I gonna do?
right, except these guys haven't got their priority yet. All right, cool. So everyone up on the stage, everyone in the room up on the stage. All right. Go on. Can't fit? Okay, over there. Yeah, <laughs> collaboration exercise. Abdul says, get everyone on the stage. That's an activity. Everyone on the floor over there. Just crowd around the floor over there. Move, get walking, down there, right? I'm the center of the group. Come here. Come, 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 come. Don't trip over the wire. Push that under the chair. All right, is everyone in, in the center, right? You people that are taller, you've got a moral authority over the rest of the group, so you can argue your thing really strongly, right? So this is it, you're still making decisions. Uh, Abdul, my three minute clock is on the table next to you. So he's gonna set the clock off. You've got three more minutes. This time it's gonna be a little more complex because I want you to come up with the top three. It'd be weird if like you did it in 10 seconds, but go for it. Clock's on, three minutes, go. Is anyone able to turn that light off? Thirty seconds. Okay, time's up, go to your seats. Go on, go to your seats. You can sort it out as you sit, but go to your seats. I need the answer in just one minute, all right? Sit down, sit down. <clears throat> so what we'd like to do is we'd now like to round this activity out with a couple of questions for you, right? 
I'm, I'm potentially the laziest public speaker in the world, except Abdul's even quieter and does less than I do, so it's a tough gig. But um, Right, we've written some questions down based on our observations, and we're just going to throw them to you, so we'd like you to answer. Right, obviously the first one is like, what was the number one? Ret retros, cool. Number two and three? Backlog grooming and sprint demos. Yeah, cool. Good one. Thanks. Um, do you agree? We're experts. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, cool. So uh, that was an activity in self-organizing, wasn't it? Right? We didn't put too many rules in place. We just set some goals and then did the group thing. Right? But the rest of the decision-making protocols was your deal. So as you went through that activity, can somebody throw out or shout out some of the methods you used to achieve the outcome each round? Voting? Yeah, raising hands and voting. Any others? Did you do that when there was two people? No. Right, okay. What else? Ask for justification, explain yourself. What else? One per, you. Hang on, hang on. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's called the hippo principle, right? The, like the highest voice paid in the person. Group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You voted. That was a show of hands, or yeah. Hang on. Right, yeah, cool. So you go, in three minutes, what can we get done? You? Yeah? Right, right. So as the group went from two to four to eight, one person ended up being the voice of the other people. Yeah, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Ooh, right. The outcome was, say that again. Yeah? Right, so putting it in context of like, you know, it's kind of safe to fail because we're at a conference and just talking stuff. Ah. How engaged were you all in the last conversation? Was anyone, just show, show of hands, like, you know, we're all friends here. Anyone just standing back just going, oh, I don't have skin in this game anymore, I'll just stand back and shut up. Were you that person? Really? Yeah, yeah, there they are. There's three... <laughs> Yeah, out of 60-something people, the three people just kind of backed off. That's nice of you because you made room for other people to exhibit their leadership. Good on you. Do you, have, do you want to throw a question out? What, what rules did you uh, create while uh, during this process uh, of self-organizing and, and uh, forming teams at various levels? Did you, did you feel it? Yeah. So a, any rules that in here why? Right. So that's an effective communication, a signal to the rest that I'm holding a token. Right. A anything else, guys? Any other rules? Yep. Nothing was training. Ah, Right, so you, you narrowed down your uh, similar items into one. Anything else? So those are two rules. Yep. Uh, we can move on to the next question. All right. We're about to go to lunch, but you guys don't mind two extra minutes, do you? The hard question, right? The hard question. What did you learn about decision making in this activity? What lesson can you draw from this activity? Sorry, just do, do this so we can kind of focus. Yeah, you. Right, so what might you do back at work? Pardon? Get people, to, 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 why not? Right, yeah, who's? Go in with a purpose. 
yeah, go in knowing what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Prepare for meetings and stuff, yeah? Ah, the more forcefully you assert your position, the less likely it's going to be the outcome. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool. So, so there's like a certain level of base understanding in this room about what Agile is. So you didn't have to go and explain the basics to people, right? Yeah, cool. I imagine in product and process projects, I mean, most people that you're talking to have a clue what you're doing, but not everyone, right? Yeah, yep. Oh, interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So how, yeah, so that's unusual, isn't it? Like we go to work and like, yeah, there's certain people that make all the decisions and the rest of us just go and do it, right? And we did this activity of like deciding together, right? Uh, if you send a survey to 60 people, how many of them are going to respond and how long is it going to take to get the response and is there a good dialogue and mutual understanding and then when all the responses get back and like 32 people say let's do this and the other people say let's do that, how are they going to feel about the outcome? That's different to this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and don't get me wrong either. Like I know in the real world that like people are in different buildings and different cities and all that sort of stuff and you can't put everyone in a room all the time. But when you can, why wouldn't you, right? Any other... Last little reflections from this side of the room? Right. Yes. He's taking the microphone. Go on. The way it was, oh, sorry. I don't the way it was organized was very nice. What uh, The beauty of this uh, decision making was a group was there, they made one decision. When we merged with another group, they only had to decide between two points. So, like, you know, so the decision making was far more easy. Had it been a complete list versus a complete list, then or even a three in place, it would have been a big challenge. So uh, even in a real life situation, we could use this kind of concept between ha solving between teams. Absolutely. Right. So, uh, um, yeah, I just want to repeat that back. But like the essence is like you give people simple problems and build up to the complex problems rather than throw complex problems at big groups because that just amplifies the complexity. Last comment. Just want to add that when you're onboarding a new bunch of stakeholders, they always come with a context of their past. And that needs to be recognized because you've had a discussion within the context of what you've had. And that recognizing the context of where, what their one point is, you need to understand. I'm having a hard time locking onto that idea. So the idea being, we all come from different backgrounds, but going through this activity gave us an opportunity to kind of bring some mutual understanding to the table, but then Still, you're making assumptions about where people are coming from. Yeah. Yep, cool. Or not, actually. Because sometimes you can just make a decision, it's a lightly held decision, and you can change it later, right? But yeah, yeah. And so when we talk about backlog items and the stuff we're going to do in the next two days, maybe the consequences aren't as big as the stuff we're going to do for the next six months. Craig, I got a not scripted one. Uh, so there, I, I just observed that maybe there are people from a different cultural background, not not uh, Indians. So anyone wants to share, did you notice anything different about how the group dynamics are here? Anyone wants to share? Paul, is it, is it how exactly you would have done back in your own cultures, or did you notice anything different? Any anyone wants to make their observations? I actually think it was quite collaborative. Um, I think there was more engagement here than there might be. I'm from Minnesota and we're really passive aggressive. Right. Um, <laughs> right. So we, we, people we are, are like yeah. more likely to not share what they, they think until something they really object to. But here was, a, uh, I think it was really collaborative and people were sharing ideas right. um, and speaking up. Yeah. Great. So, so we are a collectivist society, isn't it? Yeah. So our, our group decision making process is different. Yeah. Great. Thanks for sharing. Um, so I guess we'll just wrap up now. Uh, I learned this from Alistair Coburn, the Agile Manifesto guy. 
Uh, and he came to Melbourne one day and ran a meetup and he did this activity. And I thought it was really interesting watching the dynamics of uh, decision making and how they change from group to group. And then thinking about that in the context of like the corporate life of like rules for how you do things and how just in a simple activity like that, the rules in which you make decisions change rapidly, right? Because the context and the needs of the situation change. And so if we instead focus on the, gruel, the, sorry, the goal and the, the group dynamic, right? Like how many people can hold a conversation together and so on. Um, you provide very simple constraints and you help people move forward and achieve their outcomes, right? So that was interesting to me and that's why I shared it with you guys. Now, potentially, this is a technique and a method that you could easily share out to the workplace. Like, you know, a bunch of you are coaches and consultants in the Agile space, so, you know, go ahead, take it out and, and try it out with people. And those of you that are people on project teams doing real work, <laughs> um, <laughs> Maybe it's something that you can pull into a retrospective or a, you know, a, you know, a group building, team building activity or something like that. If you want, Naresh is saying, shut up, you've got to finish. Yeah, I'm finished now. Yeah, yeah, cool. So I'm wrapped up right now. So if you want to ask us any questions, we'll be here for the next few minutes and thanks for coming. That's it. That's it. Thanks. Thank you very much.